Hi guys, today we are going to see different KLA estimation methods. In this particular video, we will restrict our discussion to static gassing out technique. Okay, so KLA estimation is very much important for understanding the oxygen transfer rate in the liquid media in the fermentation broth during the aeration and agitation. Okay, so one of the method for estimating KLA is starting gassing out method. So let's see how does uh, the apparatus or the design of this experiment looks like. So you have a bioreactor vessel. In this you have filled ferment your fermentation broth. Okay, it will contain fermentation broth, not water or not any uh, sodium sulfide. It will contain the fermentation broth. Okay, it will have an impeller that will allow us to understand how the agitation impacts the oxygen transfer. It will have a sparger. This sparger allows us to sparge the oxygen and how the aeration rate and aeration uh, the concentration or aeration saturation affects the oxygen transfer rates within the uh, fermentation media okay we also have a do probe this is a dissolved oxygen probe so we will be measuring the oxygen concentration using this do probe itself so let's understand what we exactly do in this method this is a fermentation broth and in any kind of media there can be a certain degree of dissolved oxygen okay this will always happen so let's suppose it has dissolved oxygen of something x ppm fine now what you do you follow step one in this step one you have to remove or deoxygenate this media this fermentation broth completely how you do that you will sparge nitrogen into it okay once the nitrogen goes into the media you are sparging nitrogen into the system once the nitrogen goes into the media this is the nitrogen going up so it will be transferring and from this side there will be removal of the oxygen such that the do value of this media will become zero okay all the oxygen that was there inside this media initially has been removed in this step fine once this uh, thing has been achieved so initially we were saying it has certain degree of do then after sparging of nitrogen the do has been complete dissolved oxygen has been removed so this is step a when you start uh, passing the or sparging the nitrogen into the system so you can write nitrogen sparging this nitrogen sparging will cause removal of oxygen or deoxygenation of the media so the do value will drop down to zero so at this point what you will do you will start aeration again okay so once you start aeration slowly there will be an increase in oxygen concentration in the fermentation broth so here in the second step this time you are sparging oxygen into the system you are sparging oxygen or air because the initial do concentration was very less and inside this bubble the oxygen concentration is high so oxygen from the bubble will start moving into the fermentation broth okay and slowly the concentration of oxygen starts rising until and unless it's reach a saturation point that is called c star okay so at any point within this graph let's suppose this is the point and this is we will call these points as your cl so this is cl and this is at time t supposedly okay so what we can say the rate of oxygen transfer in the fermentation broth that is your dcl by dt is equal to kla c star minus cl so kl is mass transfer coefficient in the liquid side a is the specific surface area c star is the dissolved oxygen concentration at the saturation and cl is dissolved oxygen concentration at a particular time t 
if you integrate this equation what you will get in the final you will get ln c star minus cl is equal to minus kla dot t plus ln c star so if you can uh, like correlate it is equal to y is equal to mx plus c kind of equation so what is your y this is your y ln c star minus cl m is minus kla okay x is your time and c is your ln c star so if we plot a graph between time versus ln c star minus cl okay how will it look like it will look like this the slope will be represented by your kla and this point is your ln c star so i hope this method is clear to you all in the next video we will discuss about dynamic gassing out technique Thank you.